in this video we're going to make a teddy so I've just got some pale brown fondant that I've dyed now I have mixed it with a little bit of my modeling and flower paste um, I just buy it ready made the modeling and flower paste rather than making my own now I'm going to start with a piece for the body and this will be your largest piece that you'll need so just work out the size you want your bear to be so I want it about that size so I'm just going to start with a ball and I'm just going to roll it so I'm just pushing it gently at one side um, so that it becomes a bit of a sort of teardrop shape or a pear drop shape okay so we want him to have a bit of a belly so I'm just going to push a slight indentation in there okay and what I'm going to do is just taking one of my modeling tools this is just one I got free with a magazine I've got some yellow PME ones as well that are quite good um, I'm just going to push little lines all over like that now you can use different tools to put in these lines whichever you find easiest so I'm going to go from the center line down here so imagine there's a line down here and I'm going to do all the fur coming out in one direction and what I'll do is doing the opposite direction on this side so I'll do that all over and when you've done that you can if you want to put a bit of a stitching line running up the middle of the body so I'll keep doing this everywhere okay so his body's covered in what looks like fur now that we've put the little indentations all over and you don't have to be particularly neat or in any kind of pattern when you're doing this to create the fur effect and of course you can do it without even adding the lines and it still looks okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to add him some legs now I'm going to have a look at where I want his legs to go and I'm just going to push gently at either side with my fingers so that I know that that's where I want to put his legs now, I don't know if you can see that very well so we've got a slight indentation at either side there now you can give your bare short legs fat legs long legs whichever you prefer really so again i'm just starting with a ball of fondant and i'm just going to roll it down i've got a bit of a crack in mine so i'll just try and push that out so i'm starting with a bit of a sausage shape and i'm going to have a look at what kind of length i want them to be so these are going to be a little bit long so i'm going to cut that down a bit And when I'm happy with the length, I'm going to roll another bit that's very, a very rough sausage shape so that I know I've got the same size for both. So that's a little bit bigger, so I'll cut a little bit off that one. Okay, so what we're going to do with these shapes now is we're going to keep them in a bit of a sausage shape. I'm going to flatten the end where his foot's going to be and then in the middle, I'm just going to roll my finger to narrow the leg there and then it'll give him a big sort of hip joint here so I'm going to squash that top end down so you'll see it's only got a slight little bit of shape in it nothing too much and then I'm just going to work out for positioning where I want it to go so same again with the other one and before we stick them we're going to add on the little lines okay so when you're happy with that exactly the same as we did with the body you're going to start putting lines in if you want you can work again with a seam down the center and put your little lines so they come either side of that seam but you don't have to so I'll do this till the legs are both covered okay so when you're happy with it a bit of edible glue or water I'm just using water where you want it to go and just push it into place now you might find that when you've pushed it on that you've just sort of pulled a few of your little lines out so just draw those back in okay and again if you want to put a line of stitching just run that up the leg like so 
and I'll do the same on the other one. So now I've got a bit more of my brown fondant and I've just got a bit of my white that I'm going to mix in with it. And we're just going to make a couple of little circles to put on the bottom of his feet. So I just wanted it to be a little bit of a slightly different colour. Now you probably can't tell on the camera but it is a little bit lighter than the other one. So what I'm going to do is just take a small amount and I'm just going to roll it so it becomes a ball. Now that might be a little bit big. So I'll use this for both feet. So I'll roll them both into a ball. And what I want to do is just squash them. Like so. And I'm going to put a little bit of water on the ends of my feet. And I'm just going to put them onto there like so. And if you want you can put little stitch lines on around the edge, just the occasional one. Okay. So now back to our normal brown and we're going to roll some arms. So start with a ball and then we're going to roll into a bit of a sausage shape. Now just keep holding it against your figure so you can see what you think size wise. Now that was a bit too thick so I'm going to roll it thinner. Sorry, that's an aeroplane going over my house again. Okay, and then also have a look at what length you like it as well. You can give them quite long arms, quite short arms. So I've just cut off to the length I want and I'm just squeezing it down a little bit at that end. And I'm just shaping this a little bit rounded where his paw will be. Okay, and exactly the same way as we did the legs, we're going to put lines all over. So again, with the stitching tool, I'm going to run a line down the centre. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the inside of the arm. And I'm just going to position that round the front. So I'm happy with his arm just there like that. And I'm just going to push it on a little bit up there to make sure it doesn't come off. And where I've pushed it, I'm just going to put the lines back in. So same again now for the other arm. So when you've done the arm, just decide what position you want to put it in. If you want to put it in the same position, if you want to do it with his arm up in the air, um, or if you want it down to the one to the side. So I'm going to put it down to the side. So I'm just going to push it on from there and I'll just check from this angle that it looks okay. And again, I'm just going to put in lines where I've squashed them a little bit. Okay. So you see the bear's starting to shape, take shape a little bit now. And what we're going to do is just roll him a little patch to put on his belly. So I've just taken a lighter coloured one. And we're just going to cut out a little square. So if you've got a square cutter, you can use the square cutter. If not, you can just do it freehand like I'm doing. And then choose whereabouts you want it to go. Stick it on. And then you can put in some stitch lines. If you want to do one on his arm, you can do one on his arm or on his leg as well. Entirely up to you. Okay, so back to our original brown colour. I'm just going to roll a ball now. I'm just going to test this for size. I've got some left still for the ears. So now I'm going to put on a head. So you just want to check that there's the amount that you want really. Um, you don't want his head to be too big or too small. So literally we'll start with a circle. We'll have it slightly more oval than round. I'm going to keep it quite a basic shape. You can push in a little bit up here if you want so that it's a little bit wider where the nose would be. But it's entirely up to you. Okay, so again, exactly the same process as we've done before. You're going to add fur all over the head. So I've gone all the way over, and again, I'm going to add a little stitching line. Now, I've not done the back of his head just yet, but what I'll do is I'll do the back of the head once we've stuck him together. 
because if I turn it over I'm going to rub the lines out on this side. Okay, so we now want our lighter colour brown again. I'm going to take a ball of it which we're going to use for the nose. So again just check what size you're happy with now, I don't want it completely round, I'm going to try and flatten the back of that circle so that it's rounded at one side and a little bit flat at the other so that I can stick it to the face properly. Now I might want just a little bit bigger so I'll just add a little bit more to it. It's always worth just holding your icing against your face or whatever it is you're modelling for size wise before sticking it to. Okay, so that's a little bit better size wise. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of water on there, just making sure it's flat on this bottom bit where it's going to be attached to the face. Okay, and I'm going to stick that on there like so. So what I've got now is a little bit of grey fondant which I'm going to put on for the nose. So again, the size of his nose is entirely up to you. You can just put on a round nose or you can shape it a little bit if you want. So what I'm going to do is just make mine a little bit more oval and then see if I can bring it to a little bit of a triangular shape. It doesn't have to be a proper triangle, just a little bit is fine. And then you're going to put a bit of water on there. And we're just going to push that on like so. Now using my modelling tool, I'm just going to put a line down from his nose and then one either side to create his mouth and I'll turn that round so I can do this side. Okay. Now we're going to give him some eyes. What I'm going to do is put a couple of holes in where I want his eyes to go. So I'll put one in here, I don't know if you can see that very well, and one in here, apologies if I put my head in the way. And I think I've made his eyes slightly wonky, so just be a bit more careful with yours when you're doing yours. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of water into each eye socket, and then using my remaining bit of grey, I'm going to roll two balls for his eyes, and just make sure they're similar in size. See my hands are getting a bit sticky and a bit messy now and you're just going to pop those into the little eye sockets that you've made. So another aeroplane going over it is really noisy today. <laughs> this one's a bit big so I'm just going to cut that down. You can do now it's just a little bit of water this is where if you want to use your glue you might be better using glue because you're just going to balance that onto the body and what I'd say is if you can put any little lines all on the back of his head and then just make sure he's balanced and we'll give him a few hours to sort of dry a little bit like that before we add the ears now you can give him a little tail so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my brown just roll it into a bit of a ball and I'm going to stick that on with a bit of water again and again just put those little lines in like what you have done over the body okay and now we're going to do the ears so what I'm going to do is take a circle of our brown I'm just going to squash it down and I'm just going to cut it in half and check size wise if it's the right size for my head. So I'll just turn that round while I have a look. Okay, so I'm happy with that size. Again, you can use a circle cutter if you prefer. So what we're going to do now is taking a bit of your paler brown, we're going to roll another circle a little bit smaller. Oh, it's a bit soft is this one, so it's changing shape. going to try if I can cut that in half and I'm just going to stick that into the center of each of my ears so the other one in like that and again just going to put some little lines in the ears just mainly on the edge bit rather than everywhere and you're just going to put a little bit of water or again a double glue and you're just going to stick it on where you want 
them to go on the head. Try it further up, further down, see where you think it looks best, and you're just going to do the same with the other one. Okay, so that's it finished. Now, I don't know how well you can see it, so I will put up a picture for you. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.